Well, we're in the Eiffel region of the Nürburgring for the last race of the fourth race of the NASCAR Wheel and Euro Series 2014 season. And in Elite 2 category, Thomas Ferrando starts from pole position ahead of Salvador Tineo Arroyo, Maxim Dumere, Philip Lietz, and Gianmarco Acoli. The first woman, Nathalie Mele, starts seventh alongside Dennis Dupont. So the green flag, Ferrando looking for a great start here, but it doesn't look like he's got it. No, he's missed a gear or something. He's fallen back. They're getting passed by Dumeri and uh, Coley. And most cars getting through without any danger, any contact, which is great to see. Salvador Tineo Arroyo, who didn't start perfectly as well. He's trying to overtake Philip Lietz on the inside at turn number three, but it doesn't work. Philip Lietz says no and closes the door there. Incredible stuff. Demare leads ahead of Ercoli and Ferrando, already pushing very, very hard. And the Belgian Maxime Demare, the current championship leader, starts to open up a bit of a gap, but we know that Ercoli is not going to agree happily with that one, and he is going to do all he can to close that gap as quickly as possible. And the draft is very, very important for these 400 brake horsepower V8 5.7 litre engine cars. And as we can see, that gap has been significantly closed up there. Akoli right on the tail of Demere as they head down towards the chicane. Demere is going to be looking in his mirrors the whole time. He gets a little bit sideways there, a little bit of a slide there in the chicane. And Akoli is close and he's diving in on the inside. Demere can't close the door and Ferrando goes through on the inside as well. So two places lost there from Demere in the same moment, the same corner. Incredible. We go on board there with Demere who is overtaken by. Coley. So after the Tour Speedway, the Italian is once again in the lead. Incredible stuff here in the final race of this weekend. Three wide, what a fight. And Ferrando takes second place at turn number one. Tineo Arroyo is going to have to wait, though. He is currently in fourth place. So, Ercoli versus Ferrando. That is the duel for first place, just a little bit ahead of the next two, Dumere and Tineo Arroyo. Ferrando very, very close to Nicoli. He's going to try and pass his rival. That is for sure. Behind Dumere, Antonio Arroyo are also ready for a fight as well. Oh, breathtaking draw breath for a few seconds. You can see the two little packs there, two cars, little space, and the next two cars looking up the first four positions. And the leader slows down. Oh, no, mechanical problem there for Ercole. And Ferrando takes first place ahead of Demere and Tineo Arroyo. Huge upset. Oh, that is such a shame for Ercole. Ferrando once again in the lead this weekend and after his first career win. Can the Frenchman do it again in race two, making it two out of two here at the Nürburgring? It would be pretty remarkable they're like buses all coming along at the same time so in the gentleman trophy we have Simone Loretti first ahead of Marcal Melo and for his first NASCAR race Rogero Malgratti the number six is third at the wheel of the events for you by Nocentini car incredible Lena Valle leads the legend trophy ahead of Didier Beck with whom we are on board right now Ferrando still in the lead, and he's opened up an absolutely massive gap. He looks like he's about to win his second race of this weekend. Maxime Dumere and Tineo Arroyo Salvador are still fighting for second place. Look how close that is. Small drift there for the Spaniard. They are so, so close. Going around the final few corners, absolutely incredible stuff. Which way is this one to go for second place? It is impossible to tell the draft there uh, for Tineo Arroyo Salvador. We go on board then. It's the last lap for Demare. Salvador Tineo Arroyo finds an opening there at turn number one. A great move for the Ford Autolix competition driver who will have to resist, I think, for a little bit less than a minute and 40 seconds. He's going to really have to do all he can to hold back Demare. Incredible. As Ferrando heads towards his second career win, a new sweep in the Elite 2 division. It's the fourth time in four races that the two races of the week have gone to the same driver. In the legend trophy, Leno Vene wins, whereas Simone Loretti is the first in the gentleman trophy. Erica Montefiore is the first woman, the best move award for Marcel Melo, who finishes seventh, and Thomas Ferrando is very happy after his win. We hope to score points for the championship. This win has been a huge bonus for us, and we're happy that we've been able to do it. I think we're on the tail of Maxime Dumere in the standings, so it's been a very positive weekend. Un weekend très très positif. So at the podium, 100% rookie with Ferrando, Tineo, Arroyo, and Dumere, and thanks to his two wins, Ferrando now leads the general standings with 324 points, two more than Maxime Dumere, and 24 more than Lietz. So we'll see you in two months' time for the first rounds of the playoffs in Italy at the Autodroma della Umbria Maggiore.